Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to resolve an issue you might have when trying to upgrade or install a new version of Windows 10 that basically says that Windows cannot install the required files. So this is a somewhat common issue and I've heard quite a few people mention it in the past so I thought I'd make a brief tutorial today highlighting how to resolve this. So it's going to be pretty straightforward and we're going to jump right into it. So I know it looks like we are on a Windows 10 computer, and which we are, but this does not really matter if you're coming from Windows 7 or Windows 8, the process is going to be identical. We could even assume that you're trying to upgrade your existing version of Windows 10 and you run across this problem, which is completely plausible, so it doesn't really matter which operating system you're on. So we're going to just start up by opening up a web browser here. I'm going to open up Microsoft Edge. And then you want to probably navigate over to Google. That's usually where I begin these videos. We're going to start by typing in Windows 10 Media Creation Tool. The best match, or at least one of the best matches that comes up should be a Microsoft domain. And at the time of this recording, it says download Windows 10 disk image, ISO file. You want to click on that to open that up, like you would any normal link. So it should be something, it might not be the first button here, but it might say create Windows 10 installation media. To get started, you'll first need to have a license to install Windows 10. You can then download and run the media creation tool. And then you just want to click on this download tool now button. It's going to ask you what you want to do with this file. Again, time of this recording, about 17 and a half megabytes. I'm going to save it. Shouldn't take very long. And then once it's done downloading, I'm going to run and execute that file might receive a user account control window. It should say Microsoft Windows and it should be from the Microsoft Corporation underneath Publisher. So you want to make sure you're downloading it directly from Microsoft. You want to click on yes to open that up. Should say getting a few things ready. Once you've read through the end user license agreement, you want to click on accept. Should not take very long. The longest part is going to be downloading and actually installing Windows 10. So then you're going to be prompted with what are you trying to do? Are you trying to upgrade this computer that you're working on right now? Which is kind of going off of why I'm on Windows 10 because hey, you might be trying to upgrade your existing computer. Or you could also be trying to do it for another computer. So you, in that case, you would need a DVD or USB flash drive or whatnot. I would create installation for a DVD, CD for another PC. Click on next. At this point, you could uncheck this box to use recommended options. Because again, this recommended options is based on what this computer is that we are currently on. If you're doing this for another computer, there's a very good chance you're going to be running a different version of Windows. The architecture might be different. So in that case, you would uncheck this box and select what you would need. And then underneath architecture, if you have a big enough DVD, I would recommend, or USB flash drive, I'd recommend downloading both. If you're unsure, there are third-party utilities that will tell you if you're running 32 64 bit operating systems and if your CPU is compatible you can't get a lot of this information directly through Windows but that's a different tutorial and I've made those in the past as well but if you're unsure or you just want to have something you can use time and time again for other computers feel free to download both Underneath language, make sure language is correct, which it should be. Make sure the addition, most people will be using Windows 10, not the home single language or the Windows 10 N edition. And then you would just click on next, and then you will select either USB flash drive or ISO. Again, this is if you're doing it for another computer, and then you just would pop this installation media in and boot from it. And again, you would just follow along with the on-screen directions if this is the path you were gonna go. You're going to need at least a 4 gigabyte flash drive, and you can interpret that DVD also needs to be at least 4 gigabytes. So that kind of puts out most CD ROMs. So that's why they probably recommend a DVD and not a CD. So if we actually go back, I don't know how far back it'll let us go, but if we go to upgrade this PC now, it'll start downloading Windows 10. 
So I'm actually going to cancel out of this. I don't want to download Windows 10 on this computer at the moment. But the whole idea behind this tutorial was that you probably were upgrading Windows 10 perhaps through Windows Update or you're downloading it through some other means. I'd much rather do a clean, fresh download from Microsoft and you're much less likely to be missing any critical files that are necessary to boot and set up Windows 10. So that's why I typically recommend downloading the media creation tool like I just showed in this video and following the on-screen directions. I've run this tool many times. I've never had a problem, but when I've gone through other ways of downloading and installing Windows 10, it doesn't always come out as clean. So it's very nice that Microsoft provided this way to upgrade. They haven't always been this convenient. So I'm very appreciative and many people who install Windows 10 are as well. But anyway, I hope this brief tutorial helped you guys out and I will catch you in the next video. Goodbye.